Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Duplantis, a practicing clinician in Fort Worth, Texas, and today we are going to fabricate a putty matrix on a wax up that we received from the laboratory. I really like putty matrices and I really like the hand mixed putties. This is a VPS putty from Voco that we're going to use today called Viposil Putty. It's really important that when you order these putties that the Putties are both for intraoral and laboratory use. The intraoral is an addition reaction and the lab based is a condensation reaction. So it's really important that you use one that will be okay for, for intraoral use. Uh, what I've done is I've taken about a half a scoop of the prefabricated scoops that come with the putty of each the base and the catalyst and I'm going to go ahead and hand mix those. Um, you want to mix this to a consistency where there's no marbling or, or uh, you know, and that it's all an even color when you mix it. Another thing that's really important that we'll talk about while we're, uh, while we're mixing these is that your, your wax up from your laboratory is lubricated with a water-based or water-based or water-soluble lubricant such as KY Jelly. Vaseline will work, but Vaseline's a little bit harder to clean up. So for these cases, I like to use KY Jelly. It just seems to be uh, a little bit easier to clean up since it is water soluble. So now we've got our putty to a, uh, a pretty even consistency. You'll notice that there's no marbling. And I just roll it out and I'll place it on top of the teeth. When you do this, you wanna go about one to two teeth behind your uh, your planned temporary that you're going to fabricate your temporaries out of a bisacral composite. Uh, so one to two teeth is, is all that you really need behind it. And I like these to be smooth. Um, and I just want it to adapt very well to the model here. Don't worry about full adaptation because on the next step we're going to talk about relining this. And we're also going to talk down the road on some other videos about further uses of putty matrices. But just try and ease it out, I mean, even it out as much as you can, try and get rid of all the ripples. Um, that's really just for us and, and our sanity as dentists. This particular material takes about four minutes to set from start to finish, it's about two minutes of working time, and you can use this intraorally, so there's about two minutes of intraoral set time. I like to flatten out the occlusal surface, and we'll go ahead and let this set for the full four minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll trim it up. All right, so we've gone ahead and separated our putty matrix from our diagnostic wax up. And remember, we placed KY jelly on here, um, and so some of it would have filled in here. So make sure we clean this off really well, which we've already done, and make sure it's really dry. And at this point in time, you'll want to make sure that you, you're tightly adapted to your wax up. But even if you are, I think that this next step is, is crucial in order to get a form-fitting temporary and that is to utilize a light body impression material. Now make sure that if you used a VPS putty, you're usually using a VPS uh, light body uh, impression material and make sure that they're compatible. I always recommend to stay within manufacturer's lines when you're doing this. So at this point in time we'll just go ahead and fill uh, from teeth 5 through 12. One of the things I failed to mention on the on the matrix is you want to make sure that on these putty matrices that you always get at least one tooth beyond the area that you're going to be working on. So we've gone ahead and we've filled our putty matrix with the light body impression material. And we're just going to go ahead and reseat that matrix. And on this impression material, it takes about four minutes to set as well. So we're going to let this set for four minutes and then we're going to separate that and then we'll come back and we'll talk about trimming the putty matrix. All right, so as you can see, we've separated our, our heavy body and our light body from the wax up, and this is what we end up with. So next we're gonna trim it, and the first thing that I want you to do is go ahead and trim the excess off. I like to use a disposable 15 blade to do so. Just make sure that you stay away from the margins. And then we'll, after we do that, we'll show you the final trimming and then you'll be ready to go and utilize your putty matrix. Now, we've gone ahead and we've trimmed the excess off and just made um, a nice clean cut all the way around. But the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trim out the embrasures, which will make it easier to clean up the temporary material, the PMMA material or bisacral composite material that we utilize to fabricate the temporaries. 
So uh, the first cut is the most important, which is in between teeth number eight and nine. And to me, that's probably the biggest and the widest cut so that we can always confirm where our midline is when we go to seat this in the patient's mouth. So we went ahead and we cut between eight and nine. And at this point in time, we'll make a nice V-shaped notch. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and we'll trim around the margins of the other teeth that will be affiliated, and then we'll come back in a minute and take a look at the final product. Okay, so at the very minimum, you want to at least cut a notch between eight and nine. Uh, removing all of the embrasures or, or fabricating a matrix such as this is really beneficial, although it's time consuming. But the reason that this is beneficial is because as your bisacral composite is setting, you can actually start cleaning off around the embrasures utilizing an explorer, which makes it a lot easier for cleanup of your provisionals. Now one thing that you'll notice is by utilizing the light body impression material, when you fabricate provisionals this way, there's going to be very minimal cleanup anyways because the tissue or the, the matrix is so tightly adapted to the patient's teeth and tissues. However, there will be excess and it's very easy to clean up if you've cut out all the embrasures. Now, if you have cut out all the embrasures, you've somewhat lost your landmark of the midline. So at the end, what I usually do is I come in with a permanent marker and just mark the midline so that I can orient it to the patient's midline every single time. So that's it for fabricating a putty matrix. I hope that you found this beneficial. And in further videos, we'll show other benefits and other uses of a putty matrix.